Hello students, boys and girls. I hope you are having a wonderful time on this journey of chemistry grade 10 flight. Yes, and we are moving towards our second destination which is acids, bases and salts. We have already begun with the journey and you have learnt a lot about acids and bases till now already about their physical properties and chemical properties and now we are going to see what is it that is common between an acid and a base. So if you see in the picture acids there is a blue litmus which turns red that is the indicator and bases the red litmus turns blue. So this is the basic which you have been learning for quite some time and now you are very thorough with it. Okay, So we will move on and see what is common between acids and bases. Boys and girls, I hope you are enjoying your journey towards our second destination which is acids, bases and salts. So till now we have done uh, a few topics covering acids and bases that is what are acids and bases, we have done about what are indicators natural indicators, synthetic indicators, then we have also done about the physical properties of acids and bases and we have also done the chemical properties of acids and bases. Now let us see what do acids and bases have in common, what are the common features or common points between acids and bases. So both acids and bases, they are electrolytes. They are both electrolytes. Now what is an electrolyte? An electrolyte is a substance which conducts electricity. Okay, So both acids and bases conduct electricity. Now why do they conduct electricity or why are they good conductors of electricity? Because they dissociate into ions. Acids dissociate and give H plus ions in solution and bases give OH minus ions in solution bases will give OH minus ion solution and then acids give H plus ions in solution. So they are both ionizing in solution, they produce ions in solution, then they are good conductors of electricity. So we call them as they are very good electrolytes. Then the fourth point is mixing of an acid with a base or base, acid with water or base with water is a highly exothermic reaction. Exothermic, you have already done about this. What is exothermic? Yes, this reaction releases, a lot of heat is released. Heat is released when this reaction takes place. That is when I am adding, adding acid to water or base to water, a lot of heat will be released. So these are the four points which are common for acids and bases. Now let us see how do they ionize in water, okay. So what happens to acids and bases in solution? So first we will take acid, when an acid is added to water, okay, take any acid, we will take hydrochloric acid, it is added to water. So what happens, there will be a number of H plus ions, of course there will also be chloride minus ions in solution. Okay, they will also be there, but then we are talking about the H plus ions here. So there will be a lot of H plus ions in this solution. Now this already has water in it. The formula for water is H2O. Okay. Now what happens is these water molecules, they will combine with the H plus ions coming from the acid and they form H3O plus ions. These are known as hydronium ions. Okay, what happens when we add acid to water? Number one, the acid will dissociate into ions. If we take suppose hydrochloric acid, so there will be a number of H plus ions and also there will be chloride ions. We will be talking about what happens to the H plus ions. Now these H plus ions they will combine with these water molecules and form H3O plus ions. It is just the addition. There were two hydrogens here, one more hydrogen added and H3O plus ions. It has a charge, it is an ion. It is known as hydronium ion. 
So, there will be a lot of hydronium ions in solution. Now, what happens to a base? When a base, suppose a base we take as sodium hydroxide. So, sodium hydroxide in water will form sodium ions and hydroxyl ions or hydroxide ions. So, there will be a number of OH minus ions in this water. Okay, there is water and there are number of OH minus ions. Okay, so this is what is happening HCl plus H2O, H3O plus plus Cl minus. So, this is how the hydronium ion is formed. Then we have NaOH, it will completely dissociate, it will completely dissociate to form Na plus plus OH minus ions. So, you have a number of hydroxyl ions and then you have sodium ions in solution, spread out in the solution. Okay. So, this is what happens in solution to the acids and bases. Now, let us see bases and alkalis. What is a base and what is an alkali? You have been hearing these terms or you must have heard of these terms quite often, but there is a slight difference between both. Okay. So, let us see what is the difference. Most bases are insoluble in water. Okay. A base is a substance which is insoluble in water, but some bases are soluble in water. Now, these bases will either have O minus 2 ions or they can have OH minus ions. Okay. So, if I say zinc oxide, so this is a base. It does not have the hydroxyl, but then it is a base. And then if I say NaOH, this is a base. KOH, this is a base. Magnesium hydroxide, a base. Calcium hydroxide, all these are bases. So, there are bases which are insoluble in water. Okay. So, these bases so, all these substances which have an oxide ion or metal oxide or metal hydroxides, they are all bases. Metal oxide, okay, metal oxide and metal hydroxides are all bases. Some of them are soluble in water, some are not soluble in water, but they are all bases. Now, those bases which are soluble in water, which dissolve in water, which ionize in water, they are known as alkalis. The bases which are soluble in water, okay, soluble in water are alkalis that is the only difference. So, sodium hydroxide if you look here sodium hydroxide is an alkali, potassium hydroxide is an alkali, but magnesium hydroxide does not dissolve in water, zinc oxide not soluble, copper oxide is not soluble, Fe2O3 is not soluble, but they are all bases, they are all metal oxides, they are all bases, they will give the litmus change of color with the litmus paper that is from red to blue. So, they will indicate that they are bases, but they are not soluble in water. So, there are a few bases which are soluble in water and those bases which are soluble in water are known as alkalis. A soluble base is known as an alkali. So, in water they will ionize completely into the hydroxyl ions. So, we have the sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide which are alkalis because they are soluble in water. Okay. I repeat base is a substance which is a metal oxide or a metal hydroxide number one. Secondly, bases most of them are not soluble in water, but some bases are soluble in water. So, those bases which are soluble in water are known as alkalis. So, that is the difference. Got it? So, you should remember at least 
two examples for each what is a base what is an alkali and what is the difference between them.